Today's world is more connected than ever before, even in areas that we don't often necessarily think about, such as manufacturing operations, for example, which today are driven by digital technologies. Equipment manufacturers and enterprises that use industrial machines are constantly on the lookout for new tech that will enable them to service their customers better. That's where Fieldbit comes in. They've developed a platform that enables real-time augmented reality support for technicians and field workers, thereby increasing productivity and efficiency. And here to tell us more about this technology is Evia Talmeron, CEO of Fieldbit. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. So let's jump right in. What exactly does Fieldbit do? As you said, Fieldbit provides a software solution for field service technicians uh, using augmented reality smart glasses and smartphone. Mm -hmm. And uh, our customers are companies that have hundreds or thousands of technicians that they need or they want to work uh, more efficiently and uh, productive. Mm -hmm. And let's talk a little bit about this industry, right? The, in, the industrial machines and, and everything that surrounds that. What are some of the main challenges that they face? Um, our customers are companies that have, uh, that they are either the owners of these machines, these assets, or they are the manufacturers of the assets. And in both cases, we are talking about assets that uh, cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Sometimes, in many cases, they are uh, also electromechanical uh, equipment, and uh, they are located in remote locations. So the person on, on site doesn't have the knowledge on how to solve problems and uh, how to maintain this uh, equipment. So there is a need for very well-trained and experienced uh, technicians uh, in order to uh, solve problems and maintain the equipment. So even when I have a technician coming to my house to fix, let's say, my refrigerator, sometimes they don't always get it right on the first try. And in, I understand with industrial machines, this is a very common problem because, as you said, some of them are very remote, hard to get to. They don't necessarily know what they need to fix. and so. It requires a lot of multiple technicians coming out. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, definitely. As consumer, we all we all have the experience of uh, technicians come uh, at home. We need to wait for them, and then at the end, of the day, they can't f solve it in the first time. They send somebody else, mm -hmm. or the, the opposite. They come in, in in five minutes. They solve the problem, and, and we feel like stupid. Why didn't we uh, solve it uh, ourselves? With the, these industrial machines, we're talking about also about the cost of downtime, which mm -hmm. uh, in, in many cases, it's uh, hundreds or thousands of uh, dollars per hour, uh, because uh, when these machines are um, uh, down, then um, the customer doesn't, can, can, doesn't have his uh, uh, goods, or uh, the patient is, uh, doesn't have, uh, have his uh, uh, treatment, etc. And so how do you address these challenges? How does Fieldbit help these customers? Well, the, the notion of uh, fields, um, augmented reality for field service is known for many years. I mean, it's mm -hmm. more than 10 years. It's known that uh, augmented reality can help field service uh, technicians. Uh, with the um, uh, appearance of uh, smart glasses to the market in uh, 2013, um, we understood that, yeah, there is something new here that we can uh, leverage, and uh, that's how we started Fieldbit. Um, using augmented reality smart glasses, uh, technicians can have either support by uh, experts, um, which are uh, in the service center, mm -hmm. or they can uh, just browse on the knowledge or the step-by-step uh, -step instructions, which is part of the knowledge which, is, which resides on the unit themselves. Mm -hmm. Now you've brought some of the equipment here, and I just want to take a look. So these, for example, are smart glasses. Yeah, I mean, we have two types, or I would say uh, two extremes of smart glasses. One mm -hmm. smart glasses type is, is looks exactly like normal glasses. You Regular know, I mean, you, yeah. don't, you can't imagine that these, are, these glasses are smart. Right. But if you power up, power up them, then you see uh, some annotations and, uh, and uh, digital information. In, Basically in front right of in your front of my eyes. In front of your eye, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is all controlled via an app from, Correct. Re and uh, from the app, remote locations? Yes. Smart glasses in general, they are exactly like a smartphone. You know, they have a computer, they have a, a memory, a, a, they just don't have the display. They don't need a display. The display is, mm -hmm. is the smart glasses themselves. These smart glasses are the, the, the other so, side that's for uh, outside, outside use. So let's see this. I'm a, I'm a technician. I'm going out into the field. I put this helmet on, right? And yes. I have this little eyepiece right here. Correct. 
And these smart glasses you can work outside if you work in uh, antenna, for example, uh, up, up there, mm -hmm. or if uh, in uh, energy sector there is a quite restricted, restricted area that uh, should be explosion proof. And these smart glasses uh, fit this uh, requirement. And I can get all the information right here and my hands are free to exactly. work. Exactly. As we, as we started to say, all the information of how to fix, how to maintain the equipment is in the head of the technicians. Mm -hmm. And with these uh, devices, uh, the information and the knowledge can reside on the devices, which mm -hmm. means that uh, the technicians can be much more relaxed, much more safe. Uh, mm -hmm. Safety is, is a very big issue. And uh, also in our uh, world, uh, we're talking about uh, aging workforce. It's, it's a real issue in, in many companies where mm -hmm. 30 or 40 percent of the workforce is going to retire. Uh, so who's 30 going to 40 percent of the workforce? Yeah. Time. So who is going to, re to, to replace them? Uh, the millenniums, you know, I mean, they are used to, to be trained in, in a different way, you know, mm -hmm. the field way. And so you're saying that eventually it will be more. Yeah, more, more technological, more, technology, more yeah. robots perhaps, exactly. who knows, into the future. Exactly. Technology transfer, that's what we are implementing here. That's what your goal is towards looking yes. towards the future. Yes. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today mm. and share this exciting tech. Thank you very much.